anyone is guilty for the bloodshed that's going on, it is the international community, particularly Britain. The international community has given the greenest of green lights to the Israeli army to do what it wants. And that means the freedom to commit war crimes. You'll see Western values as they actually operate, raining down the bombs on completely innocent Gazan civilians. Whether they're supporters of Hamas, Fatah, whether they're civilians, they're gonna die and are dying in their thousands. Where are Western values there? If there's blood on anyone's hands, it's on those who say Israel has a right to defend itself. Israel has the perfect right to defend itself. Israel has a right to defend itself. Israel must have that, does have that right to defend herself. Israel has an absolute right to defend itself. Israel has a right to self-defense. This is not the whole story. It's not the defense of Israel. It's, this is not the whole story. It's not the defense of Israel. It is the expansion of Israel and it is the creation of an apartheid regime even more severe than the one that happened in South Africa. Israel says it's fighting an existential war and it has compared what Hamas did to a Holocaust. Half my family died in the Holocaust. There's no comparison. From a Palestinian perspective, you have to realize that Israel was the lords, the masters of the land. They controlled all your movements. They controlled how much you ate. They controlled who you married. It's the one that decides when to attack. This is a country used to total control over one half of the population. And it lost that control. And it lost that control wildly. I'm appalled by some of the things that happened. Desperation turned into savagery, and I will use that word about what happened at Kafar Azar or the music festival that took place where unarmed festival goers were shot like ducks. These scenes are unknown to the current generation of Israelis, and the shock this has produced, the, the sudden loss of confidence in its star performer, which is its army and its intelligence services, cannot be underestimated.